Hello Aries and welcome to your April. How do they feel about you reading? This is for Aries. Aries, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and now TikTok. And I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Aries, this is for you. We are going to see how this person is feeling about you and if they will take any action in regards to this feeling, to those feelings for you. This is for Aries. How do they feel about Aries? How do they feel? Let's see. All right, so they feel you moving away from them. They feel you moving on. Um, they feel like you're letting go of them and moving past the situation with this card. To me, this is very Six of Swords in the Tarot. And we have give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. So they want to work on it. You are, you are exiting the situation. You are trying to move on. They want to work on this situation here with you. So they feel that physical distance. They feel that emotional distance. And they miss you. All right. So let us see what is going on here. This is for Aries. This is for Aries. How do they feel about Aries? How do they feel about Aries? If this resonates with you, Aries, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button I would greatly appreciate it if this does not resonate with you at all Aries please do check your moon your rising and your Venus sign as this will not resonate with every Aries out there please keep in mind some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable so however it resonates with you this is for Aries how do they feel about Aries let's see very attracted to you still they have hurt you they do want to work on the situation here um, they let you walk away they regret it they want to get back on track here so they have a lot of things that they need to say a lot of things were hidden I feel like secrets took down the relationship right they just want one more chance they want to have some time with you just to express themselves they have a lot of hidden emotions still here for you and hidden attraction clearly um, but definitely some hidden emotion um, with this honeymoon card enjoy the bliss of holiday time together they may come back around and ask you to go somewhere neutral like a neutral ground and like spend the night with them just have one more night with you so that they can say the things that they need to say so they can feel um, you physically right again see you physically feel your energy and just just one more night one more chance just let me say what I've got to say here Aries right you could be dealing with a Pisces or somebody with strong Pisces in their chart this person still very much cares about you and they're trying to they're going to try to come towards you in a, in a more emotionally evolved way, okay? A mo more emotionally mature way with this King of Cups energy because they do still very much care about you. Male or female does not matter. So they still, um, they still love you. They still love you and they feel this energetic pull towards you. You could be dealing with a very intuitive individual. You yourself could be very intuitive. Um, I feel like this person, um, for some of them, there was drinking, too much drinking involved or too much substance involved in the situation, but that's for some of you, not all of you. Um, you may be getting some sort of late night phone calls or texts from this individual, okay? That's um, when they're, um, like after they've had a drink or two and they're feeling quite vulnerable, okay? Okay. Um, and their guard is down and like those hidden emotions start to overflow and come out um, that's for some of you not all of you so what they're wishing for is to just have some time with you um, so that they 
to see, you know, if you will give them a fighting chance here to save the relationship. They still want you. You are their wish. You are their happiness. Nine of Cups. This is one of the happier cards in the tarot. So they may have been dealt some of their own karma in this particular situation. Okay, whatever they did to you, I feel like it came back around to them um, in, in a worse way. You could be dealing with a Libra or somebody with strong Libra in their chart. This person is here to even things out. Um, some of you, you could be getting a divorce from this person or a legal separation from this particular individual. Um, that's for some of you, but this person's going to try to save this. They're going to try to save the relationship. Um, and, uh, they have apologies here. They have apologies. All right. So big lesson for them. That's for sure to lose you. Um, they don't want you to slip away. Aries, I'm going to read the energies of the cards here. If the sign of the person that you are dealing with, have dealt with, or will be dealing with in the future, if their sign pops up, all the better. Keep in mind, time is fluid. Cross watchers, keep in mind, some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you. We have this Queen of Wands energy. Um, so there's still um, attraction here. They find you very physically attractive very passionate towards you but not only that coming through is the king of cups with the moon and the nine of cups huge emotion here for you and it's all it it comes out when they are emotionally vulnerable um so and i feel like they're going to have to kind of um, show their soul to you right bear their soul to you aries um but they just need just a little bit of time here, just a little bit of time to talk to you um, face to face, I feel. Um, Queen of Wands energy, I feel like um, this is of course you, but you could be dealing with another fire sign, male or female, does not matter. Um, I feel like this person really did some damage here to you. And it really kind of um, messed with your confidence and your self-esteem level. They really hurt you and it's hard for you to um, can even consider going backwards and some of you won't because of that betrayal um, I do feel like secrets brought down the situation here things that were hidden and you felt betrayed by this person and it's hard to win an Aries heart once there is betra betrayal here but this person is going to give it a, a, a shot they want to save the situation um, but they really did some damage and you have been like a phoenix rising from the ashes and this person, I don't know if they expected that from you, but you really, you know, kind of showed them what you are made of. And now they have a newfound like respect here for you. And you've got your passion back and you're going for the things that you want and you're, you're leaving, you're leaving them in the dust really. Um, there was so much hurt and pain here. It was um, a very painful ending for you. Three of Pentacles, they want to work on this. They've been kind of admiring you from afar, I feel. They've kept an eye on you uh, for quite some time, I feel. They want to um, work on this. They, they want a partnership. They want things to be balanced. I don't think it was balanced here before. Five of Swords was very, it was a very difficult relationship to be in with this person and they know that. That's why they're trying to come back towards you in a more emotionally elevated way with this King of Cups energy. Um, but there was conflict here and you walked away and they, uh, they let you, their ego, their pride, uh, very prideful energy got in the way here with that Five of Swords. But... Um, they're not going to let you slip away so quickly. So they're going to try and they're going to try to win you back. And they're going to try to get on track here. Um, could be children involved for some of you, not all of you. Ten of Cups, family, partnership, loving, happy commitment. This is what they want to get to here, right? With that Ten of Cups. They want that back. All right. Please give us some more information in regards to how this person is feeling about Aries or what actions they will take towards Aries. Let's see. 
They want your attention. They want to return. They think about you all the time. You, you're just walking away. And look at this. This is why they're having such a hard time. We've got the masculine and the feminine of the same suit. The attraction is overpowering between the two. The chemistry is, is there. All right. So um, they're going to be pursuing you here. Um, to me, this is a very strong soulmate connection when the masculine and the feminine of the same suit doesn't matter, male, female, whatever, does not matter. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a strong connection. It's a strong spiritual soul connection. And then we got the six of cups here, which kind of solidifies that. And this is why this person has such a hard time letting you go. Um, so they've been in kind of denial. Um, for a while in regards to this it hurt them when you walked away but you walked away because they hurt you right this person I, I feel like secrets were involved here I feel like um, this person was being shady doing things behind your back you found out about it and uh, or you at least felt felt it right this person was not being a hundred percent with you it was false um, and you you had to let it go. I think a lot of you found out. So have they changed? Have they elevated? I think they have. But uh, the love is still there and the passion is definitely still there between the two, two of you. But is the love there on your side? The love and the passion is there on their side. But is the love still there on your side, Aries? That's the question that you're going to have to ask yourself. Um, Seven of Swords, you have a hard time trusting this individual, like I was saying before, because once you betray um, the Aries people, and I got an Aries moon, it's very hard for them to go backwards, but that's, of course, going to be up to you. So this person is going to want your attention, right? Um, they're looking for a victory. They want you to see them again. They don't want you to ignore them anymore or cut off communication anymore or pretend like they don't exist or continue to move on from them. A lot of you probably moved on to newer energies. This person, they think about they think about the good times. They're trying to forget about the bad times, but they remember them too. They know what they did, all right? But they think about you in a very good way and they miss you, Aries, with the Six of Cups energy and they want to return to you. They know the ball is in your court here with this Two of Wands. Some of you may consider giving this person a second chance, hearing them out. Others of you may not. Okay, you may just keep it pushing. I feel like the majority of you are going to keep it pushing. Um, but you walked away. You see the backs here? This person has their back to this person. The back, Your back is to the situation. You did not get what you wanted. In fact, this person was pretending to be something that they were not, and they needed to grow up. Um, so they, they literally could not give you what you needed out of the situation because they weren't mature enough to do so. Very ego-based, fear-based person you were dealing with. Eight of Cups, um, this is water energy, right? So a lot of conflict, you walked away from it. It, was, it. it proved to be a very difficult situation here for you. And you, you fought long and hard, but this person wouldn't listen. They were just listening to their own um, self. Um, so selfish individual, a very selfish individual. Um, but, and, and cross watchers, keep in mind, like I said before, these energies can be vice versa, interchangeable. So you assign the roles as you wish. Um, they let you slip away and they regret it. You're moving on, moving on, moving on. And they just want a little bit of time with you. A little bit of time face to face, physically, you in front of them, them in front of you. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they, you know, want to take you somewhere, uh, maybe somewhere that the two of you went on vacation and, and just try to work things out and talk about things, that kind of thing. They just want one more night. That's all I keep, just one more night. Um, isn't that like a Phil Collins song? Anyway, Aries, that is your reading. They're coming back around to try to fix this, to try to make things better. 
here with you. A lot of you may have already moved on to a different situation, um, but they've got apologies and they're going to say things. I've learned my lesson here. I'm sorry I let you slip away. You know, I, I was, you know, I was crazy for letting you go. These kinds of things. They're thinking about you so hard right now. All right, Aries, that is your reading. That is how they're feeling about you. Like I said at the beginning of the video, um, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and now TikTok. And I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. Please do follow the links that I provide because there are some imposters and some scammers out there. Um, next week, Aries, I'll be working on the mid-month readings. And then for those new to the channel, welcome. I have a weekly schedule and a live schedule. All that information can be found down below in the description box or in the about section of my channel. You guys take very good care of yourself and I hope you're having a great week and I hope you're staying very happy and very healthy out there and I will talk to you soon. God bless.